How's it going? Welcome back to Dead State with me, Noble. Glad to have you with us, and I can't wait to get back into the adventure. So let's go ahead and... Man, I hope I'm not screwing this up. It's 8 a.m. Okay, so I, I was like... I remember last time, I think it was like the first episode back with 103 or something like that. I was like, okay, I screwed up because I was supposed to hit end of day, not move out in the town. So anyway, we got a few more locations to check out over here. But maybe we want to check out one of these up here. Upscale Shopping Plaza, Abilene Bullseye, eh. Shops at the Will, Diamondback Garden, I feel like we'll get fuel there, we kind of need fuel, that's definite fuel, Vegetable Farm, let's head up here, I feel like we want to hit these three locations today. So let's start here and work our way back. Not that I really want to have less chance of gas, it's just I feel like we'll get to this place a lot quicker than we get back to these. In other words, if we got to make a return trip, I'd rather have a location I can jump over to these a little quicker and waste less fuel. So we'll start with this one. Because I figured we went south in the last episode, so we might as well head north for the next one. Dandelions. Delicious, not so delicious dandelions. Yeah, the oil refinery and the uh, gas place didn't turn out as well as I had hoped. I kind of wonder if there wasn't military there before, if the military is recent. Because I almost feel like we're going to start running into more soldiers because, you know, before we didn't know the military was even here. We found a couple of uh, renegades that were running around. But for the most part, the military wasn't even uh, a factor. Then all of a sudden they started showing up, and there's been a few locations we've gone to, uh, particularly in episodes before we came back to the series, where it's like, the military's like, hey you, we're controlling this territory, so like they did at the gas station in the last episode. And it's like, oh, um, we didn't know you were here, sorry about that. Make sure we hit our Z key, it's always important when starting up so we can get their little icon. To me, that's an essential button to press <laughs> when playing the game. Without the lovely Z key, you just don't know what you need to pick without clicking on random items. Like that. Now we know this picnic table is clickable, even though I can't see anything on it. Y lovely month and a half old chocolates. Left out in the sun. Next to rotting vegetables. Oh, you know the, the bugs are all over that <laughs> candy package. That was grapes. Okay, from this angle I thought it was over here, but now it makes a little bit more sense. Actually, it looks like all of them are clickable. Grapes and dandelions. Well, don't mind if I do. Mind you, the homeowners, if they're still alive, are probably not going to be very happy with me. Uh, you get off my property stealing my grapes. Mm. Run, green tomatoes. You know what? Maybe if we uh, didn't already have horses, we might have found more horses here to you know, have some extra mounts. Could be. Uh, let's see, luxury item. So yeah, we're going to take that. Morale item as well. Okay, we'll take that as well. Skip, skip the helmet. We don't need the helmet. Uh, we'll take that. Can't weigh ourselves down with redundant items. Seed packets also redundant. Take that though. I still want to click. I, no, I take that back. I don't want to click it. I want. To, I don't want to find a month and a half old dead horse in there. Be like, it's like ooh, ooh, ooh. The zombies would have been nicer than just the starvation. That's one thing you got to think about in the post-apocalyptic scenario. Like, let's say, let's just say we had a nuclear war, a worldwide Fallout-style nuclear war, and you weren't home. And your little doggy or your little kitty cat is locked inside the house. That doggy and kitty cat ain't going to be able to survive very long without the food and water that you give it. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of household pets that aren't going to survive a nuclear war due to the fact that they're just stuck inside the house. And if they can't figure out that they need to escape or they're going to starve to death, they're dead. And unfortunately, it's a very sad thing to say. But, uh... It just is what it is. I mean, you got to just think that reality sometimes a very sad thing to have to deal with. These are all comfort items. We'll take all of them. 
Four wine. <laughs> We're not taking the rat. Actually, we're going to put that knife away, too. We don't need that, either. By the way, I remember this location. This isn't one I discovered. This is actually from the uh, the PTA mom, whatever her name is. Uh, the one who's one of our... Uh, our leadership inside the uh, place that just asserted her dominance like oh I'm the head of the PTA in my local district I would be ever so useful for you and your community no we don't need you oh you do fine you can be in charge that's not how democracy works she elected herself oh wow look at that cask oh dear there's somebody back there oh please tell me this isn't somebody I could have recruited Happy Dead Man. Okay, maybe not. If it had a name to it, I'd be like, oh no, I lost somebody. Companion, why? Alright, Vic, get drunk. I mean, pick up the items. Nine wine. Nine wine. And now a tenth one, too. I guess he was so happy he drank himself to death. Sounds like a really bad way to go when you think about it. It's like, yeah, he enjoyed alcohol poisoning until he died. I mean, I guess there are worse ways to go. At least he probably didn't die of a, you know, crippling pain or unforeseen uh, medical circumstances. It just drifted off into an alcohol-based coma or something. I don't know. All right. Before we leave the map, though, we got to move some of these items over. Because uh, my inventory is full, so I got to get rid of that. I don't know why I went to that menu to show you. I could have just clicked this and got it done with ahead of time. 16 wine. That's definitely going to weigh us down. I hate that if I click and accidentally move left or right, it's like, does that. So annoying. You got to click it and just like let go immediately. Don't accidentally uh, drop it. And the thing is, if I did the all drop, which I can't do anyway, I wouldn't be, I'd have to send that and bring it back over. And that's just annoying as crap. Come on, there we go. Vegetable farm, gotta get our noms on. Vegetable farm, delicious cabbages too. Asparagus, and I don't know. Insert food items here. Sing along with me. <laughs> Insert food items here. Ah, the good old fruit stand. You can't even see the icon for that one. It's covered up by the roof. Ooh, taters. We got big taters, small taters, round taters, square taters. <gasps> Tiki Coop! I love my chickens. They are spoiled brats. I love my chickens, but they are so spoiled. They will. My chickens, personally, I have 17 of them. Some of them are ridiculous. They're insane. It's like they're like um, to sundares. It's like, don't touch me, Baka! As they go running off, it's like, please feed me, though. Uh, don't touch me, but please feed me. Throw, throw nice, tasty scraps at me from a distance. And then I got my my reds. They're not Rhode Island. I forget the particular breed. But I raise them really good, and they are needy. Like, they'll walk up to you and squat down, like, please pick me up. And you gotta sit there and rub them and scratch under their chin. And, oh, shit, we're getting attacked. Coyote Scout. Hey, <laughs> did you know we killed your friends? That's right. You're not much of a scout without your allies, are you? He's got a semi-auto pistol, but nothing too bad. We have no need for the likes of you. Please, give my existence reason. Uh, it's not a very good position, so... We'll see if we can't put him down with a single shot with a super bow. Nope. Badly wounded, though. <laughs> we gave him a serious hurting. Let's make sure we don't accidentally block her uh, targeting. I'm going to pull back here. Yep, and actually, I can't set the weapon because... Yeah, we got to make sure she has a clean line of sight. Otherwise, we block her shot, and that's not good. Yes, yeah, shoot the guy with the bulletproof vest, please. Hey, Vic. <laughs> uh, we got up 90 decibels. So we're going to have at least one zombie here. Uh, 
We'll take that and that. We really don't need anything else. Actually, let's reload first. Never forget to reload your weapon. And never forget to finish off the fool. Baka! But yeah. This is coming quite a lovely adventure. Collecting potatoes in the fields, killing random bandits that we came across for no apparent reason. Mind you, he did come at us first. We're still showing our poison wound damage, so we didn't quite heal up 100%, but as soon as we get done with our adventure, we'll have everybody, whatever time we have left, head back to the... Uh... Oh, somebody's inside. You know what? This guy's a coward because he clearly didn't come out after hearing his friend get gunned down. I should reload that. I didn't realize that wasn't loaded. And we'll activate that because I want to get two attacks in on this guy. And better yet, we haven't used this <laughs> since the uh, show came back. I like my little sub gun between... Because I carried the silenced pistol as soon as I was able to build it originally. But as soon as I got this thing, it's like, nah, we're, we're going to stick with this for now. Alright, you know what? Get everybody in a better firing position. And... Gats, I want you to come in this side as well. Better yet, double time a soldier. And ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to stand right here. My guy actually needs to unlock the other door. So, I kind of forgot about that. I'm like, okay, he's going to have to break down the door if he doesn't do this right now. So, <laughs> that would have been bad. I'd be like, ah, kicking the door! Ow, my foot, you know? Okay, so, you two are ready to go Blitzkrieg on that door. Darlene, please come up here. I want you closer to use that bow. And I'm going to open the door and shoot this guy. Guys, there's, there's more than one. Definitely, definitely more than one. Now, he's got a double barrel shot. Oh, that's a magnum. I really need to get this guy down. All right. Badly wounded, a second shot. He's almost dead, but not dead yet. One more pull of the trigger. There we go. Came in here like an assassin. Because, <laughs> you know, you got to think about it. This is one turn, so it's probably like, you know, three quick pulls of the trigger and fired off. What, I'm down to 9 out of 18, so I fired 9 rounds off real fast. All right. I'll pull up and slightly block the way. Now, do me a favor. And try to put this guy down. Darlene, while he's sitting there looking over, she's like, Who shot me in the back with a shotgun? Put him in the grave. 76 decibels is a lot. Ooh, that actually wasn't enough. But we got a second shot from you, so have at it. That is a way to do it right there. Another successful ambush. I don't think we're putting away the guns this time, because... Uh, we haven't found any zombies. We might have one or two coming now due to our gunfire, but more importantly, we're coming across a lot of coyotes. That will take, and these items will take. Don't really need any of that. It's just weighs us down right now. Not really useful. We can saw it down. I have a sawed-off shotgun. Mr. Vic, or excuse me, Gats, that is, Max Gats, coming in for the kill, like the beast he is. Actually, you know what? We haven't grabbed any of the loot here, and I hit the wrong button. Uh, I'm actually trying to stay away from Kinchy. I played so much of it, I'm like, I need to step back. I'm kind of obsessed right now, you know, so... I'm not going to hit spacebar on accident as much as I have in the past, but I'm probably still going to hit it on occasions. Okay, everybody regroup. 
No, that's a side door. Okay, same deal. We don't know if there's anybody in here, so... Unlock this. And that door is already unlocked, so I'm going to send my character around here. Nope, you guys wait. Okay, Gats, I want you here. Lady, right there. And Vic, buddy, take that spot. Clear the room! Clear the room! Okay. It takes four points to open the doors, so I only get one pull of the trigger with a shotgun. Coyote groupie, so revolver and a sledgehammer. This guy's the more dangerous of the group, so I'm going to have uh, Darlene shoot that one particularly. But I can get a guaranteed hit with this one. So putting you down, putting you in straight KO status has saved me from having to do anything else, so... We'll put that to use. I'm going to pull you up. Darlene. Darlene, Darlene, Darlene. Hit him with two arrows. His, her arrow will penetrate armor, so... Football armor isn't going to do much good. 46 points of damage. He's wounded, but he's not dead. 49 points. Almost dead, so... This uh, subgun should finish the job. I can get two pulls of the trigger here. All right. That right there is success right there. Okay. Make sure we reload everything. We do not want to end up in a situation like we've had in the past where I'm like, oh no, half my guns are unloaded. Those are always bad days. Mr. Gats, I need you to come in here and uh, tell them to look at the flowers or, you know, tell me about the rabbits, George. All right. Come on. Click the dang thing and don't try to do the other thing. Oh, and don't forget to murder. That's the fun part. Mr. Gats, he's a beast. Even though his name shows Max on there, I just know his name is Max Gats. And I just can't help but think of him just as Gats. Like, it just seems like a more intimidating name. It's like, hey, Max! Or, hey, Gats. You know? <laughs> When I think Max, I think Mad Max, which I think is more or less a reference to him being kind of a off the hinge kind of guy. But uh, I figured Gats to me feels more like an appropriate name to call him by, especially since his last name. All right, we got one door, two doors, only two, so we're gonna have a double team again. Everybody, group up. And then we'll separate again. Gats, I want you on this side. Since we don't know who's going to be the first through this door, we can't have one person blocking the door if the other person's going to be. Okay, stand there then. Gats, you'll have, or, yeah, Gats, you'll have to open the door. Darlene, I want you to come around to this door and stand on this side. My character, on the other hand, I think I just heard a dog. So there might be a a canine inside. Alright. As per usual, I'll open the door first. Ooh, there is somebody with a dog. Okay. Can we do this without getting spotted? Darlene, I'm going to need you to switch to sniper rifle here. I need you to get line of sight, so I want you right here. It's kind of in my way, but I'm going to move my character up in a second. Crap! Uh, well, I guess I'm shooting the dog. <laughs> the situation's gone too far, sir! I noticed, damn it! Uh, okay. Knock, knock! Forced entry team! <laughs> She's like... Huh? Who's there? <laughs> Ouch! My chest! Almost dead. So yeah, your leather armor didn't really help you too much in this situation. I'm just going to step back here behind this bush. And then shoot you in the back of the head. Actually, yeah, set activist too. I was going to say, it's kind of a waste, but... Hmm. 
Dog is down, unfortunately. Well, I mean, I was going to do other things, but then this happened. There may be people in the other room, so I really do need to have everybody on point, so. Stand by here. There is somebody else. That guy's got an AK. And I think I just heard another door open as well. Matter of fact, we've got somebody behind us. Hmm. The situation is looking dire. But you know what else is looking dire? The fact that we got body armor for protecting us against bullets. And they have bullet projectiles. <laughs> so we actually have the advantage in the situation. And we also got Max Gat. So I mean, that's uh, it's a bad day for anybody in his way. Kind of like that. So Mr. Gats, step out of the way for a second. Let's see, I need at least four points. There you go, two shots. Eh, might as well clear the entryway. Sorry, it just had to do it. Uh, you're point blank with a sniper. It's not going to be a good day for you. And then you got me to deal with. Yeah, that was a bad day for you. The, the, 200 decibels, we definitely have some zombies showing. Matter of fact, you can't see it underneath the icon. You see my face. I got two people, gats, and then a picture of a zombie. So the zombies are coming in the next round here. Uh, ooh, man, that's a good item. This uh, police shotgun, we'll, we can turn that into a SWAT shotgun if need be with our maintenance team. Actually, let's take that spot. Sorry, dog. I really hate hearing that sound effect. As a matter of fact, another Coyote Scout showed up. Where did you come from? Coyote re Reinforcements? Because uh, I know we cleared this area out, so I don't know where you came from. So I'm going to stand over here in order to stand out of her way. Just to make sure if you come through the door, you're going to run into us. Switch to that. Move up. Finish the job. Ah, oh, shoot. It's one more space than I had room for. Oh, well. Take a few good items and move up. She's like, Sniper! <laughs> uh, yeah, set actor. We don't need to move. Now who's been the ambushed? I've been the ambushed the whole time! AK-47. All right. Not that I really need the AK, but the AK and the uh, sniper rifle use the same ammo, so I really just need the bullets out of it more than anything. Kill. Can't have these guys coming back and attacking us from behind later. So we got at least one Zombo on the way. K.O. When I get up, you're dead. Actually, um, uh, I, I don't think you're getting back up. I'm just going to leave it at that. I hear a zombie coming. I need to hurry and finish this off. Okay, everybody. We need to group together again. Oh, shoot. The zombie's already here. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Huh. Yeah, we got to step over here for a second. That way you can get the shot in. There we go. Nope. That's all she wrote. Chuck Testa. <clears throat> I hear footsteps, and I'm not sure if it's more zombies or if it was just our guys catching up to me. I 
feel like it was our guys catching up because they would have been in here by now if there were actually zombies out there. We did. We made an awful lot of racket, you know. No, nope, no more VCRs. We only needed one. That way we can watch our Star Wars VHS tapes. Yay! Wonderful days. Spices and uh, meat cleaver. I saw somebody outside. Somebody's out there. It's just a zombo. It's the Mr. Zombo Show. Starring Mr. Zombo. Well, I guess they took the gun out and left the one bullet behind. Jerks. I need one bullet, too. Oh, almost forgot to reload. Never ever forget to reload your weapons. That could be the difference between life and death. I think the reason they made this gun only 18 rounds is because they're like, man, if we put 30 rounds in that thing, people aren't really going to choose any other weapons in this game. Silence 30 round sub gun. Uh, let's see. We'll switch back to this because we're dealing with a few zombies at this point. We already switched her over to Bo, so we're good on that. Matter of fact, we're going to have her as our main runner right now. Because she can, in fact, pick off zombies at distance. It's possible that one person was actually out here. Yay, a ticky! Surprisingly calm, being picked up. Just like my chickens. My chickens love to be picked up, as I was telling you earlier. They are the neediest, adorable, uh, loving children... And they're sometimes too adorably annoying because they'll sit there and sit at your feet like, I don't want to go in the coop. I want daddy to pick me up and rub me. And then I set them down. And then the next one comes up and I got to pick her up and give her like two minutes of loving attention. Then set her down. The next one comes up and I got to pick that one up. Okay, who's a good chicken? Bok, bok. It was kind of funny the other day. Uh, I hate to say this one's going to die because my chicken coop's full. But uh, the other day... I was putting up the chickens and, you know, went through the coop to make sure everything was safe, counting off the heads. It's like my old days as a corrections officer. How much you bet we get gasoline fuel from this propane tank? You want to place bets? What? Place your bets now. <laughs> there's gas, and then there's gas. I guess it's the same! <laughs> Man, I sure do like that gas-flavored gas. Yeah, that gas-flavored gas is pretty good. The same gas we get out of the generator is the same gas we get out of this clearly labeled propane tank. Oh, dear. Darlene, I guess we'll have you carried, Gats. Uh, but, yeah, my chickens are both annoying and adorable equally, so I can't really hate them. They're just, they're just so sweet. I mean, there's some occasions at night where I'm going to want to put them up, and they just, they got to get their daddy time. If they don't have their daddy time, they just kind of make noise. But I was saying before, uh, I was putting them up, and out of nowhere, uh, my cat decides to join me in the coop. And they're all being really quiet. They, you know, they don't really want anybody to know that they're there, because they're like, oh man, it's, it's dark, I don't know who this is. They don't know it's me, because it's nighttime, and the sun's set already. Oh, he saw me this time. I was going to try and switch to Darlene. I forgot I didn't have her arm because she didn't have any storage room anymore. Okay. Everybody put a defensive line for Darlene. Ms. Darlene, would you please come up here? Actually, step back one. Get on that side. I actually pull one over just in case the zombie lines up with me. All right. But, uh, oh, there's two of them. Well, how about that? But yeah, he's just gonna walk through the door. Uh, so the cat jumps up onto because she's crazy fun. She th that cat thinks she's a dog. She'll walk with you to the mailbox. She rolls on her belly, likes to get her belly rubbed. I'm like, you're such a dog cat, you know. But uh, yeah, uh, she jumped up on the uh, chicken roost 
And one of the chickens went, fuck, fuck, fuck. And I, I was thinking that chicken was probably cursed. Like, oh my, beep, 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 beep. You know, like, oh, oh, what's this? Something jumped up over here. I'm going to die. Kind of thing. And cat's like, I love you. And start rubbing her head on the chicken. The chicken's like, bok, bok. You know. I was, I was thinking that bok, bok was probably like, son of a, you know. Uh, I only get one shot. I shouldn't have moved, but I just want to make sure I actually got the shot to hit. And it didn't even hit. Just pull back. No, stay there. Okay. I got a two range of movement on this, so I'm just going to stand here. Actually, it's not even worth it. Go back to that. Come on, guys. Close in the path. The good news is they lined up with people that make sense, so it's good. Vic, move up one. You failed me, but it's okay. Darlene, do what you can. Perfect. Put another one in the grave if you don't mind. There you go. That's why I wanted her to lead off. But yeah, I just feel like I learned the secret language of chickens when you know, the chicken's like, Son of a... When the cat jumped up there with her. Uh, it's a good day. It's beginning to feel a lot like conversations about chickens. It was this SUV here earlier. I think it was. Yeah, if there was anything in it, I would have thought maybe it pulled up afterwards. Reinforcements or whatever. Uh, well, that's it for this episode. So, next episode, I'll either start back, uh, you know, no, because sometimes things happen when I travel, so I think we'll start the episode probably in this cell when us about to leave, so, yeah, thank you everybody for stopping by and joining. If you liked it, hit that like, subscribe, future content. Uh, let me know what your thoughts and opinions of this game and other things are, and if you like it, let me know about uh, your thoughts on the chickens and the cats. I got the weirdest animals, and I love them. Anyway, take care, be safe there, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.